In this video we're going to have a look at Python's dictionary class items method. This program statement will produce an instance of the dictionary class. Now this UML diagram appearing here is an approximation to the dictionary class and when this particular program statement executes it's going to create an instance of the dictionary class now we can show the concepts behind the creation of an instance of the dictionary class with the following animated schematic diagram we know we'll have an execution space and into this execution space we'll have this object being created and the object will take up the name capitals which you can see is being derived from here in the program statement and in this region you can see we have all of the methods that were defined here in the dictionary class and at the center you can see we have all of the items and we can see there are three items and these have clearly been taken from the three items here where we have three key value pairs we now have the object created and existing in the execution space and what I wish to do now is to send a message to it to invoke the items method and here you can see I have the appropriate program statement and here we can see we have the actual message this is the object to which the message is sent and this is the method that's going to be invoked within the object so I can represent this message diagrammatically as shown here by this particular arrow moving the message to the actual instance of the dictionary class i.e. the object now this message is going to invoke this particular method here the items method and the code inside the items is going to look to the three items as they appear here and it's going to return the items the key value pairs and they are shown diagrammatically being returned as you can see here and they will be returned to this position and they are returned as pairs you can see here I have Germany Berlin as one pair France Paris as another pair and UK London as another pair now these pairs in Python are examples in this case of tuples or tuples depending on how you decide to pronounce the word of course this particular statement will now print what is returned by this particular message and you can see the runtime appearing here let's consider this particular program here and we can see on this line we're creating the dictionary that we've just been viewing in the schematic animation and on this line here I'm sending the message and what this message is going to do it's going to get the item pairs and it's going to assign it to this particular variable here and then this line will then print what's been returned and we can see the output printed is shown here now we can see that what we're looking at here is a view of what's been returned and Python tells us what you've got here are the dictionary items these brackets here are telling me that I have a sequence and this particular sequence is a list a list of what a list of these pairs and the fact that I have these brackets here the normal brackets that's telling me that this pair is a tuple consequently this pair is a tuple and this pair here is another example of a tuple so we can see that the items method has returned the items that exist in the dictionary as a sequence of tuples that are actually put into a list and this is regarded and often referred to as a view of the objects that have come from the dictionary using the items method this program here is almost the same as the one we've just been looking at but I've amended it and you can see the amendments here I have the word list and I have these two brackets and in the middle of the brackets I have the message now what's going to happen in this particular case this line will create the instance of the dictionary class this will send a message and that message will go and get the item pairs the key value pairs and this will convert those item pairs into a list and that list will be assigned to this variable and this line will then print what we have and what we will see is this output here and here you can see I have one of the pairs here's another pair and here's another pair and you can see if I look at this pair it's in these brackets that means it's a tuple and we can see overall all of these three pairs are inside these brackets telling us that we're dealing with a list and it's quite clearly a list because I've converted it to a list using this to be clear what we have here is a list of tuples check out the supporting website for these videos 
In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video?